then we have dashboards uh, for uh, visualization. Uh, we can build a lot of different type of dashboards. Uh, so this is one example. Uh, we have like around 30 different uh, elements uh, that you can put on dashboard, charts, maps, text fields, etc. So this is another thing for Postgres uh, health monitoring. Uh, and so uh, graphs. It's kind of similar to dashboards, but uh, it's just uh, graphs. Uh, so uh, you can uh, quickly get access to certain predefined graphs. And when you do something uh, here, like uh, I'm here on my page, for example, I want a processor temperature and uh, I tweak it a bit. For example, it is a day and uh, I can go to properties and uh, uh, change something, uh, for example, um, and create green. So I did some uh, weeks uh, to my chart. And maybe this one, this. Uh, <coughs> And now I can uh, do save and I can just um, give a name to that uh, graph, save it. And now if I go to my predefining graphs, I have my new graph. And if I click on it, I will get it with exact same settings as I've saved it. So it's just uh, a way to quickly save uh, charts for, for quick access. Um, network maps, we have uh, manual and automatic uh, network maps. Uh, so you can um, build maps uh, automatically based on network topology, or you can uh, create map by hand. This is an example of some custom map. You can uh, have objects, you can link them. So you can Add another object to the map, move it around. You can select two objects and link them together and so on. Um, and uh, there is an uh, automatic map. So this, for example, is uh, automatically built uh, topology map for a lab environment. And this is another example of uh, automatic map, topology map. You can uh, zoom maps in and out. You can uh, change how the objects are represented. So here you call it uh, large labels. So you see there's a lot of information about the device on the label. And you can uh, switch it to other uh, modes, like to show them just uh, icons of the objects and so on. Uh, we have a world map view, so you can uh, see uh, actually that a map and you can actually place devices on the map so you have your geographical uh, location for the device so you can for example right click on the place choose that I want to place object here it will be this object and it will be displayed on the map and after that if I go to the uh, to this uh, chain Wave, you see, that. You see, it uh, will get a geolocation context view. And if I go there, it will show me the geographical map centered around uh, this device. So if you have something in the field, you can actually set the locations and you can see on the map where exactly this device is located. And we use uh, OpenStreetMap. Uh, we have uh, our own uh, tile server, which, which we host 
which is a default tel server when you install NetXMS, but you can uh, set up your own tel server if you want uh, with your own map rendering uh, and so on.